Welcome to the lecture series of Power Electronics. In this video, I'll be discussing what do we mean by three-phase full-wave controllers. So in the previous session, we discussed about single-phase full-wave controller. The main uh, problem is the usage of single-phase full-wave controller that leads higher amount of harmonic due to asymmetric nature of the output voltage waveform. So to overcome that, we are going to use uh, three-phase full-wave controllers. So single phase full wave controller is not suitable for applica ap ap applicable in the case of AC motor drives. So where we can go for like a three phase bidirectional controller for the normal AC motor drives. That is what we require a three phase full wave controller. These two points are giving more information about why three phase full wave controllers are required. When I talk about the firing sequence, it is the, because here we are using almost uh, six devices okay there are six devices which we are going to use so the, the firing sequence will be like a t1 t2 t3 t4 t5 t6 so this i am going to explain with the help of a suitable diagram let me familiar the diagram of uh, three phase full wave controllers first of all we can see a three phase load we have a three phase load okay you can note down it may be like the induction motor three phase induction motor okay three phase load we have a three phase load here they mentioned like resistive pure resistive we can we can have inductive load also most of the three phase loads are like rl load only especially if i talk about like motor drives we represent rl load okay this is my load part now we have uh, the source part van vcn vbn are the phase voltages so vac vab vbc all are called line voltage because it's a three phase system since it's a like a high voltage application, we connected the supply in the form of a star connection. Correct. Even we can go for delta connection as well. Now, each line we are going to connect the uh, like a single phase full wave con controller at each, each line. So we have one single phase full wave controller here, another single phase full wave controller is at the uh, next line, then third uh, single phase full wave controller is another line. So ultimately, these three uh, sets of single phase full wave controllers formulated the three phase full wave controller. If you compute the TSD, that will be very less compared to individually using single phase full wave controller. Overall, total harmonic distortion of three phase full wave controller is lesser compared to single phase full wave controller. That is what we are going to use this. Instead of this uh, T1, T4, SCR, you can go for TRIAC. It will be convenient. It is better to go for TRIAC. Right. So this is actually called uh, the uh, like uh, devices which is applicable for three phase full wave controller. The, uh, the sequence will be like a T1, uh, then T2, uh, T3, then T4, uh, then T5, T6. Like that, uh, the firing sequence will be taken place. Accordingly, the conduction also will be taken place. Right. This is regarding three phase full wave controller. Now you have familiar the circuit diagram of three phase full wave controller and the purpose. Brief idea about how does three phase full wave controller operate. Next is uh, we will be writing the line voltage and phase voltage of three phase full wave controller. If I talk about the uh, the the phase voltage, we will be writing like a VAN, VB, and VCA. Okay, these are called the phase voltage where the line voltage will be like a VAB, VBC, VCA. These are generally called line voltage. Okay. So next one is the calculation of average output voltage. So let's say uh, the delay angle will be considering uh, between 0 and 60. So average output voltage is written as in terms of RMS. Okay, RMS. So square root of 1 by 2 pi 0 to 2 pi VAN square D omega D. Okay, whenever you are going to simplify, I'll be doing like the splitting the integral. 0 to pi by 3 plus pi by 4 plus alpha plus pi by 2. Since then uh, pi, pi, pi by 3 plus alpha 2 pi by 3 then pi by 2 uh, to pi by 2 plus alpha. So ultimately we are splitting the integrals like this. So whenever you are going to solve you will be getting like a root 2 root 6 vs 1 by pi pi minus 6 minus alpha by 4 plus 2 alpha by 8. Okay. So all together whole to square root of 1 by 2 that is nothing but sorry whole to the power 1 by 2 that is nothing but square root. So this is regarding the expression for output to voltage for uh, average output to voltage of single phase full wave uh, controllers. So 
So I referred the textbook, the particular textbook which is given below, the textbook of Muhammad H. Rashid, Pearson Publication, fourth edition, 2014. Okay, these are the things which I discussed in this session. So in the coming session, I require to solve some numerical examples. Let me know if you have any queries. Thank you very much for watching this video. Happy learning. Have a great day.